All right, here's a question I have, and I have several questions about the mass shooting in Texas. As horrible as it is, we're all horrified by it, but how come the guy who was court-martialed in 2012 for beating up his wife and smashing his infant stepson, convicted by military court of assault, is a year in the lockup. Then he gets a separate charge for cruelty to animals for pounding on a dog later. The guy's a criminal. Some way he buys this gun legally over the counter. They say he didn't answer the questions truthfully on his questionnaire. Excuse me, why wouldn't the database generate a red flag right away? This guy cannot buy a gun legally, he is a criminal. I don't have a problem with law-abiding citizens having guns. I'm from a red state, it's fine. They know how to, most people have guns who are law-abiding, are careful with guns. You know, use them, they train their kids, all that stuff is fine. I'm not a gun person, I'd rather watch basketball, to each his own. Point of it is, this guy was not law abiding, he was criminal. People in his life say he was a little nuts and you know, he wasn't very sociable. The guy had serious problems, he could buy a gun legally. Why, why, why? I'm not saying he couldn't have found a gun second hand or third hand or on the black market, that's not the point. Why do we make it so easy for these people to buy guns over the counter. I mean, people support background checks. What's, the, what's wrong with a background check? And if somebody's a criminal, why wouldn't there be a red flag that says you can't buy a gun? Why, why, why? In the press reports, it says it is unknown how he survived the background check. Well, guess what? We should know these things. I mean, enough's enough. People that are mentally ill and all these different factors shouldn't have guns. Why is that against the Second Amendment? Do the authors of the Second Amendment want people who are deranged to have guns? It's not like you're buying bathroom equipment. Guns are dangerous products. Come on, people. I don't want to hear it. Second Amendment, my you-know-what. Let's get it together and at least make it less uh, convenient for people to buy guns. Those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCushion, the lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown. We can talk about this and more on the Mitch Hank Show on MadisonTalks.com or Facebook Live.